Today, it's happening. We're doing it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and just explain what's going on here. What's up everybody, Shax59, we are setting up a tank. Well, it's not really a tank, it's a tub for a garter snake. So if you are in my Discord, which if you're not, you totally should join, it's awesome. You will know that I recently caught a injured garter snake and I have taken it under my wing and I am going to be nursing it back to health and possibly keeping it. For all the people who are about to complain, oh my gosh, you shouldn't catch reptiles and keep them wild caught. Yeah, shut up. Garter snakes do extremely well in captivity. One of the only reptiles that do and I've never had one before and literally every reptile owner can say that they've owned a garter snake and now I'm gonna be one of them too. I'm gonna join the club guys. I'm gonna join the club. And today we're setting that up because all the stuff finally came. Let's get to unboxing this before we set up the snake. Where's the knife? Did you know beavers can hold their breath for 45 minutes? Let's get to doing this. So can I just say, hashtag not sponsored, but Chewy.com if you want to sponsor me, I'm totally available. Like, I'll give you my digits, hit me up. August wants you to sponsor us too. August, come here, be cool for the camera. Chewy.com, please sponsor us. Your treats and toys are amazing. Mwah. Okay, be free. This is a three count brick of Eco Earth cocoa fiber. We are gonna go ahead and and loosen this stuff up and it's going to be our burrowing thing I'm a jigger this is forest floor bedding natural cypress cypress mulch as you can see it's actually the stuff that I have in my ball python setup if you watched my ball python setup video links in the description this hashtag not sponsored by zoom Ed, at all but I need to be buy all their freaking stuff all the time anyways, is an under tank heat mat for a 30 to 40 gallon terrarium. So there is a big discussion going around that you don't have to have a heat mat for garter snakes. I have researched this topic many a day for many an hour. And my conclusion is as most reptile enthusiasts and herpologists have come to this conclusion, all snakes should have heat. Just give it to them. Just stop being a little, little asses about it. This is a PG channel, but see what you've done, you've made me curse. We're actually gonna be taking some of the plants. I know you have live plants in, in here that are called golden pothos. We're gonna be taking some of those and putting them in with the snake. So that's everything. We're going to be doing a very large mixture of the Eco Earth and a very small mixture of the, the mulch just to kind of give it a groundish feel. And most of this is actually just for the ball python because I needed more of a substrate for her. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna get this dirty bucket. We have to mush all this up. Don't fall. Look at the size of this. See, in relevance to my hand, it's not that large. It's about a size of your average small brick, right? We have three of those. Oh boy. And that is three bricks of dirt. So let's go ahead and start that setup now. So the minimum tub requirement for one adult garter snake is 28 quarts. This is 105 quarts. So not only is this more room than one adult garter snake needs, which BT dubs is not what this is, it's not an adult. I could put more than one in here. Now I'm gonna say something very quickly. I know a lot of you who watch my videos aren't too savvy with reptiles. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let you know something right now, okay? Do not cohabitate snakes ever. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. They will kill and eat each other. The only time it is okay to cohabitate snakes is with garter snakes. They are the only species of snake that I know of so far that you can cohabitate with minimal issue. They have to be the same size either. You can't cohabitate little ones and big ones. They'll eat each other. Please do not cohabitate any reptile, even if they are able to do so, unless you are experienced. Thank you, that is all. This is a 105 quart tub. I have cut out the top 
and secured the mesh so there's plenty of ventilation. I'm not going to have to worry about this snake escaping because garter snakes stay very small, very thin, and not strong at all. The snake will never be big enough to try to escape from this. You do not, and I want to say this from experience, do not put anything like a ball python or a corn snake or anything that's like big and strong in here because they can lift the sides very easily and they will escape and hide in your water heater room, okay? Don't do it. What we have in here currently is just a bunch of dirt that I got from where the snake around the area-ish, the local dirt. So the snake would have stuff that he's used to while he's getting close to his habitat, while he's getting used to his habitat. Now we're going to go ahead and switch out the majority of this for our cocoa fiber and forest floor mix. Uh, the ornaments, not ornaments, the decorations are going to stay because he really likes to hide in all this stuff. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's in his log right now. Yep, he's in there. There he is. Look at that. Isn't that just the coolest thing you ever did see? Isn't he cute? It's a Gruner Snurk. Okay, so we've got this all set up. So there's actually something fun. So this one's gonna be really, really fun because we have Tupperware. Now you know garter snakes love to swim. We can't make them a giant pool, obviously, with the space that we have, but if you go to Walmart, you can get two of these really nice size Rubbermaid Tupperware. Air them out a little bit, it's not like plastic. This is going to be his swimming pool and his fishing pool. And we have another one for the family. So. We're gonna go ahead and put the lid on this so we can bury it and scape all the dirt around it and not have to worry about getting dirt inside the actual Tupperware. So that's gonna go on this side.
something that I actually kind of forgot about, sticks. So garter snakes are actually semi-arboreal, which pretty much means they love to climb. They love to swim, cr climb, and hunt. They're really just the perfect gar starter snake, honestly. So since this guy is already, uh, you know, from the wild in this area, I can go out and just collect sticks from my environment and give them to him. I'm not worried about the bacteria from the outside giving him something because he already has the bacteria from outside. So I'm not gonna worry about sterilizing these at all. In fact, it'll actually be good for him because then he'll have smells and whatnot that'll be, you know, like what he's used to. So let's go ahead and since he's not really that big, I'm not too worried about him knocking any of these over. Right, so we've got everything set up. We've got his pond over here, his hot side over here with his stuff, and we've got some vines that we're gonna go ahead and bury as well. Okay, go ahead and open this up. Let's get him out first. Still a little jumpy. Before we release him in there. Just want to show you guys him. So this is a garter snake. See, he's got the injuries, some type of a scale rot or a bite. He's got those all over his body. He's got one back here. He's got one on his side. Yeah, he's got them all over his body. But he is uh, just a common coloration. Most of them are yellow and black. And he's a little bit dull because he's like dirty. Um, so let's go ahead hold him while we take his vines. Oh. Hey, what's up guys? So unfortunately I didn't actually record an outro. I thought I did, but I did not. And I'm too lazy to go back and do it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned uh, not a lot, but probably at least some about garter snakes. If y'all like my videos, please click subscribe and hit that bell if you like to be notified whenever I'm streaming. If you would like to have a more in-depth conversation, this is just bad editing gosh about garter snakes, please come to my Discord. We'd love to have you. I hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day and i hope you like the setup shacks out doing the finger gun thing